Hey guys, Brad Conlon here. Uh, thank you for tuning in. So we're gonna do something a little bit different today. Uh, we're gonna do uh, more of what I want to call like the technical side of the vlog uh, and of working out. Uh, I get questions all the time. You know, what exercises should I be doing? Yada yada yada. So I'm gonna share with you uh, my workouts basically every day that I do. Um, today is Monday, June 27th, 2016, and like all the awesome people in the world, Monday means chest day. I don't know why, uh, I blame my brother. He started it uh, probably 16 years ago. When we first started working out, I started doing chest on Mondays and that's just what I like to do. You don't have to, okay? We'll talk about setting up your own uh, routine later on in a different uh, video, but this is what I do. So um, with chest day, I'm alone. I don't have a workout partner right now. So I do a lot of dumbbell uh, stuff, which is great. Dumbbells are great. Helps you isolate both sides of the chest. It's, um, you know, it's safe. I don't have to worry about a bar coming down on my throat, block me up. Worst case scenario, if it gets too heavy, drop to the sides, you're good to go. Um, so I started off with incline dumbbell press. So that's, you know, you're on a 45 degree angle essentially, and you're pressing. Um, the reason I start with incline everything is that you rarely do you ever see uh, an overdeveloped upper chest. It's, it just doesn't happen, it doesn't work that way. Uh, be the reason being is that when you're working your upper, you're working your upper and your middle. Okay, when you work your middle, you're working mainly your middle. When you work your lower pec, you're working your lower pec and your middle pec. So you always want to focus on, on what you want to develop the most first. Okay, so by working on my upper pec, uh, I can put the most emphasis on this. I'm still working the middle pec. Okay, and then when I'm tired later on, I'm still going to do the middle pec anyway. So it's no big deal there. So um, this is my first exercise of the day, so usually I'll probably do five or six sets of that. Uh, one or two for warm up, so I did 60 pounds uh, for warm up there. I think I did two sets of eight to 12 reps. Uh, everything I do right now is eight to 12 reps. Uh, that's like the perfect happy place for me for between muscle gain and strength, excuse me, uh, strength gain. Um, so eight to 12, I play around with it, what feels good. Maybe your, your shoulder's not quite warmed up, so only do eight if that's the case. If you're feeling good, do the full 12, hit up to 15 if you have to for a warm up. Then I went up to 70 for two sets, three sets, sorry, three sets of, uh, I was doing about 10, sometimes 11 in there. Uh, one set at, uh, at 80, I believe, uh, for eight. I just managed to get the eighth one in, and then I did one more set at 60 just to kind of hammer out get that squeeze in. I've been kind of, you know, depleted at this point. Uh, from there, I went down to flat bench with dumbbells. I just did 60s uh, for four sets, just hammered them through. Very little rest, really wanted to, uh, you know, shock the muscle and uh, just really kind of burn it out. I then went over to the Smith machine and uh, the reason I like to use the Smith machine, it lets me play with the bar with the safety. Worst case scenario, flip it back and it's locked in. I don't have to worry about anything happening to my chest. Um, did that, really worked on bringing down uh, nice and slow, right close to my chest, getting a good stretch. I do have a little bit of a shoulder issue right now, so it was really beneficial that way. Uh, I only threw on like 135 pounds. Um, no, that's a lie, 90 pounds, 45 each side, because uh, the bar doesn't count on the Smith machine. And I just hammered out four sets, about 15 reps each time, just nice and slow, really getting the contraction there. I then went to do uh, there's no real name for this, but it's like a single arm sideways chest press machine press. And this works the inside of your pec. I love it. It's a really good pump. Makes me feel like I have huge cleavage, which men and women, we both want that. Um, so I did that. I did three sets of that, uh, 10 reps. Again, I had to be a little bit careful about my, my shoulder here, my front uh, delt on my right side. So that's why I didn't go crazy with it. You don't need a lot of weight either. I did 25 pounds. If you really squeeze it, you get a good pump out of that. Um, from there, I did pec deck, but I did incline pec deck, I think is the best way to put it. Uh, I saw this from a guy probably six years ago. And basically, you're on the pec deck machine, which is normally this guy here, but you lean forward and you're doing it up here, okay? You have to go really, really heavy. If you normally do like 100 and some pounds, like 110, 115, you're going to do probably 225 pounds on this guy. Uh, and you, you'll see why it's totally different, totally different uh, range of motion and muscles being worked, so you're a lot stronger. But what it does is it works this upper part right here. It feels really good. You feel really tight around your your, your clavicle or your collarbone there. And I did 
four sets there and then I did three sets just normal nice and light just to get that pump in I then went over and did cables uh, so I did all my cable flies I start uh, I do nine cable flies whenever I do them what I do is I do uh, three standing up straight coming straight down and it works the side of your pec here um, your hands can finish either right at your sides right in the front of your sides or right in front of your stomach kind of idea uh, play around with it. what feels best for you is what really is the most important there uh, I then do um, the normal kind of you know Arnold that you see in pumping iron um, flies and then I do from the bottom up flies uh, and that was it it was really really warm in there today it's super humid in Ottawa today so I, I left it there I didn't do any cardio or any abs I just it's Monday I had a long day yesterday um, so I didn't want to go too crazy with it but that's what I did I'm feeling it already I'm really happy with it uh, so guys please you know if um, ask me any questions about my routine um, tell me share share with what you're doing maybe I can learn from you guys get a good work workout I love trying people's workouts seeing what they do and kind of taking what they've done adapting what I do and kind of playing around with it and really kind of feeding off each other so it's really awesome so please guys uh, you know share this with your friends anyone who does a lot of chest days and uh, let me know what you guys do so we can uh, so we can all kind of learn from it too okay thanks guys cheers